Hello artists, Thomas here and welcome back to another video yet again of me talking about fine art degrees. So in this video I'm going to cover five things that I wish a fine art degree taught because coming out of my own fine art degree at University Arts London I had kind of mixed feelings of how the course was run and what I actually learned. So my first point is I wish there was still some form of traditional training uh, within the art schools uh, depending on the pathway that you chose. So for example, I did a painting BA but the only thing I learned from the technical side and the practical side of painting in my BA was from a three-hour session from the technician, the painting technician who kind of taught about mediums, how to kind of actually, actually create paint with pigments and oils and he went through some stuff which was really helpful um, except that three hours was like the only thing in the whole time I was there. Um, and okay, if, if schools don't want to go back to the traditional systems of, you know, whether that be kind of drawing or choosing a certain subject or having the idea of covering, I guess, the foundations of art, then at least have your tutors who are supposed to be, you know, professionally practicing artists, 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 what the hell? who are supposed to be professionally practicing artists. And um, yeah, why don't you just get them to run sessions on their own painting techniques and how they produce their imagery? Not only would this give an insight into professional practice, real professional practice, but also I feel like this would also develop further kind of, um, I don't know, good vibes between tutors and students. Second of all is marketing or marketing tactics to be able to sell yourself as an artist. I think UK universities are so out of touch, it seems like with modern marketing methods, um, or they don't even really teach them at all. The only lecture I had regarding money that I remember was basically giving statistics on how artists make no money and that you need to apply for prizes and residencies and learn how to put together applications to apply for funding as if like we just accept that we have no money and we're not going to make anything and we're going to go and beg everyone else for everything all the money basically which i didn't like the reality now with the internet is we have access to the whole world and there's just you know countless opportunities for us to sell artwork and even with new technologies developing such as blockchain and giving a means for artists to monetize digital work now it's expanding almost like every year so i wish that you know universities just use some of their resources to kind of get up to date on modern marketing methods which of course could change each year but by all means they have the resources to be able to if they don't have the you know uh, the tutors who are aware of this then they certainly do have the networks and contacts to be able to bring someone in to do a lecture series of like the most common and practical ways to get yourself going after your degree such as facebook and instagram ads they are affordable and you know a good way that you know if you get good at them which is what your university could teach you the basics of they could really get you going and having you having your work exposed to more people as you come out of your degree. Okay, this is kind of turning into a rant. Third is more kind of a, I don't know, ethos of the university. I don't know if this would make any sense to describe it like that. But I feel like, I feel like fine art universities are just too relaxed about students basically doing nothing. Um, I actually ended up staying home for pretty much the whole part of the second half of the year of my first year because the studios were just so dead and I felt like me coming in that hour and a half journey there an hour and a half back it wasn't worth my time when I could just you know paint at home um, in a quiet house uh, because the energy of the studios were not having a positive effect and my small space in the first year it just it didn't feel like it was worth it. I know people hate, you know, rules and discipline and blah, 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 blah. But I really feel like if university said, no, you got to be in every day at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m., whatever it is, and, you know, actually come down on people who are not, you know, coming in. I, I guess a, a more, uh, I don't know, a stricter, stricter rules about just coming in every day when the studios are open, um, making sure people are actually engaging with the course would create such a better atmosphere in the studios because 
sometimes people need to be pushed. And you know, if you give people too much freedom, then they're just, the studios are gonna be dead. <laughs> and I feel like I'm not the only one who's uh, experienced this. And you know, I was one of those students who went home and didn't come in. But my reasons was because I feel like the studios were making me depressed and not creative, which is, you know, a big shame. Bear in mind, this was mostly just for first year. Second and third year did improve a bit because the second and third years were mixed up in the studios. So we had some third years who were actually working hard and the studio vibes were a lot better. Number four is actually educating students on what the hell they're supposed to do when they come out of their fine art degree. I mean, all you learn in a fine art degree is how to establish a studio practice, which is like, okay, how do you sell a studio practice and make that into a job? So unless you're an amazing business person, which the majority of people coming out of a fine art degree are not, then how the hell are you gonna sell your work? What are you gonna do? That's one, you know, one option, but it's not a realistic option for most people. They're thinking, okay, what job am I gonna get to support my practice? Most people are thinking, okay, practical route into teaching, do a PGC, something like that. A lot of people don't wanna do that. But what opportunities are available within the creative industry the university basically teaches you nothing. They might have a couple of lectures on like, okay, look, you can apply to some prizes or residencies and that counts as opportunity. But it's just like, how do you practically build a CV or build up skills that are useful to creative companies out there and get involved in the creative industry? There's basically just no teaching on that whatsoever. And having, okay, it's great having visiting artists come in and tell them, tell you about their own journey. And you might get a little bit of ideas then. But in terms of just even a practical way of like, look, these are skills that are useful today. You should be practicing these kinds of things. You should be renting out this equipment, maybe learning some video editing or this, that, and the other, where you can use those creative skills to sell yourself to companies. Nada, there's nothing. In reality, of course, with the, with the internet and how large the creative world is, there's loads of opportunities out there for creative people. It's just understanding the skills you need and the portfolio you need to get into those positions, which I wish the university really expanded on more or even told us about. My fifth and final point is kind of tying into my previous point when I mentioned equipment, but I really wish uh, universities created courses that were kind of compulsory in terms of learning about, say, for example, making short films, uh, promoting or documenting your work through uh, filmmaking or pictures or whatever. Um, I think a lot of people coming out of fine art don't realize how important it is to document your work, create a story around what you're doing, and you know just really communicate what you are doing in the studio to the outside world in the most authentic way you can or in different stylized way, whichever kind of depends on who you are as a person. These kind of skills are always going to be helpful as an artist because if you're not documenting your what you're doing in a, I guess, meaningful way and putting it out to the world or finding a way to putting it out to the world, then how is anyone gonna know what you're doing? So I feel like this kind of thing is always helpful for an artist and it should be a compulsory part of the course where you know they're teaching you like, look, this is the available equipment. Now, of course, the equipment changes probably on a yearly basis and there's so much options when it comes to equipment. But say, for example, the basic use of a DSLR camera, understanding what the video editing softwares are out there, the free ones, the cheap ones, the uh, expensive ones, what's the difference between all of them? And just if I can learn about all of this stuff from watching a few hours of videos on YouTube, then why the hell can I not you know, learn about it in a 9,000 pound a year bloody university course? They could literally learn it off YouTube. One of the tutors could learn it off YouTube and then just teach it in the course. It's, it's that simple. So with that, that's my, uh, that's my five things I wish a uh, fine art degree taught. If your fine art degree teaches you any of these things or you've had positive experience around the things that I've taught, or I've spoken about, sorry, in this video, then please do comment below. Um, I have a huge library talking about all the positive, negative, and being critical of the um, modern education of the arts uh, throughout my YouTube channel. So feel free to go and check out all my other videos on the subject. And uh, yeah, so comment below, or you can drop me a DM on Instagram if you have any questions. And here is my awkward goodbye. <laughs>